Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Timberborn. All right, guys. So let's see what we can get done today. So let's see. We have increased our water storage. We've increased our crop fields, and we've increased our population a little bit. So we are now we're now progressing. Um, I think, let's see, who, where are the, the iron teeth, right? So what do we have for power? We have water wheels. We have the large water wheel, power wheel, and a generator. Okay. So basically we don't have, uh, that's, that's going to be the bad problem. We don't have a lot of power options outside of water at the moment and... I mean, we do have a lot of water that flows from up here, but we're, uh, that's, that's another, that's another headache. We've got to, we've got to narrow that off and well, we got to block it off, put little gaps, connect stuff, run it down. So I think we're going to have to continue to do like we're doing down here right now with what we got. Uh, we are only at 59% power, which means I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to add in another power wheel. I think we do have some gears now. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and unlock some of this stuff down here. I'm going to go ahead and unlock that guy. Oh, wait, can we not? Oh, that's 500. Wow, I didn't even realize that was 500. I was thinking it was a lot less. What is this guy? Uh, 80. Okay. I could do that. I can make that work for right now. It's not going to be exactly like I wanted it, but yeah, I think we'll be able to make that work. So we just need a few more points. Let me go ahead and speed this up. We'll let it run for just a minute here so I can get my research points. Almost there. There we go. Go ahead and slow that back down. So we got this guy. Now I can now I can connect and we can bring it back up over here. Alright. So let's go ahead and set up a couple extra power wheels. So I'm kind of thinking. Uh, how do I want to do this? I need to do what? I could do that if we if we build a thing right there. Actually, I might need two of them, won't I? Okay, do that. Yep, put this guy in here like so. And I'm kind of thinking... We're going to need another another way up. So let's go ahead and just build the road over here. And then we will have... Yeah, we'll have that to connect like so. Okay, so that will give us two more. Alright, so that'll give us another 100, uh, 100 HP. So that'll put us roughly at 170. Okay. So that'll at least increase production there. So that's good. Speed things back up again. Alright, I think... I think we're doing all right 
as far as going with the uh, the berries and whatnot, I don't think I'm going to need a whole lot more. I think with all of the ones that we have on this island, I can probably start wiping some of these out. Or some more of these out, I should say. Which, once again, I'm going to try to take the ones that are already uh, cleaned out. Or, not cleaned out, but already... Um, What's the term I'm looking for here? Harvested. Yes, that, that's the term I'm looking for. The ones that are already harvested, get those out. Let's see, this guy over here has nothing to do in range. So I don't think we're going to need you anymore. So let's go ahead and get rid of you. We'll let you become something different. Come on now, get these two connections built. There we go. All right. Seriously, we're at 120. Hold on. One, two, three, four. Each one of these wheels is 50, right? Yeah, that's 50. So that's 100. That's 200. Why are we only... Oh, there it goes. Okay, never mind. Never mind. That was weird. It was saying 120 out of 120, and I'm like, we're supposed to have 200. No, it, it's that little, I don't know if I'd call it a glitch, but you got to like click off and click back on to, to reset it. It doesn't, doesn't always update proper sometimes. Couple more rows of sunflowers. And let's see. Uh, we only got, we got 70 points right there. Yeah, we can go ahead and unlock the shrub. We'll go ahead and put us a shrub over here. And trying to see where else would be a good place for a shrub. Hmm. Down here, maybe? I don't know if I want to put one right there or not. I might want to use this as like a a spot to build up with. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I'd have to consider it. Yeah, I'm going to wait before I put any more down right there. Um, where else should I put one? We could put one over here. Yeah, let's put one over here, and that kind of covers everyone going this direction. All right, not bad, not bad at all. What are we, what are we missing down here? Sunflower seeds, potatoes. So I need to increase the size of these crops. Then, all right, let me go ahead and take the potatoes all the way over here. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of these. I was going to wait, but I think the more, the longer we wait, the more berries that come back. Let's just go ahead and clean out a couple of rows of these right here. Yeah, get all those berries out and then... Get that section cleared out for me. Yep, do that. Okay. Excellent. All right, let's go ahead and fill this guy back in. 
Awesome. There we go. Got two bushes left, and then we can finish that off. And that should be a decent size for our crops. That should help get us through, uh, through the the downtime. That should keep it like constantly flowing. I think, at least for now. Later on, when we get bigger fields, eh, maybe not. Or when we get bigger populations, we'll need bigger fields. But for right now, yeah. Oh, and there we go again. We're drying out. And let's see, this is, okay, so we dry out like the last day. Hmm. See, it looks like the water's flowing down. Well, I know the water's flowing down, but it looks like the water's flowing down, and then it looks like the water's flowing out. So I'm wondering if these blocks here around the around the island are positive, these are positive, and these are the negative blocks. So if that's the case, then we have to come out here to block those in order to get extra, extra water. I am curious about this. I think we're going to, I think we're going to do a little bit of a test. Now, unfortunately, if we do if I do do a test like this, the chances of causing a flood are going to be, are going to be a thing. Um, we've got to figure out how these water blocks work. So I was asked in a comment the other day, if, uh, if during the dry season, if the negative water blocks produced water, and I'm not sure if they produce water or if the water that we were getting down here was the excess water from up top and like the water source, like all of the water source blocks turn off, therefore your negative was no longer negative. It was just all of this water coming down here at that point. So we're going to have to see what happened. So I'm not exactly sure what we got, you know, what we got going and all that kind of stuff. So Eh, it's a thing. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to figure this out and you know go from there. But all right, so we've got that. I'm gonna go ahead demo this guy, and we've got yeah we've got like 240 wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a I'm gonna run a road over here and I'm gonna test with these couple of blocks over here. I am going to build a levee. like so and then we're gonna build up right here so we're gonna see what happens when I block off two blocks because technically that should offset the the numbers and we should start getting more water down here if these are all negative Like I said, I don't know if they're all negative or not. For all I know, whoever made the uh, map might be a little bit diabolical. And this one could be negative. That one could be positive. This one could be, you know, I don't know. So it's it's kind of a uh, kind of a gamble here. So we're going to test it out. We're going to see what happens. Like I said, we've got we've got things going for us right right now. We've got plenty of wood going. We've got our crops. They're looking good. If nothing else, we have lots of extra berries. So we're good there. We're good on water being stored up. Uh We're going to see what happens here. So, I mean, technically the water is flowing over. I mean, it's 
this is the only block that it's not touching right now. So I don't know. I'm really not seeing an inflow. Oh, wait, hold on. Something happened. I saw the water over here moving. Plus, that will also answer whether or not when we go into a dry season, if uh, if these produce water, because that should technically fill up and flood out if it if that's the case. But right now, that looks like that's a negative block. This is a negative block. And as you can see, we actually have water moving past it now. Instead of being kind of kind of still, well. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, it's kind of still right here between these two. I mean, it, it moves here, and then it kind of stops. I don't know, we'll see. It's a test. It is a test. So, as of right now, I'm not seeing any... <sighs> I say that as I saw water overtake a block over here. I'm not sure if that's normal or not. That might actually be not normal. That's actually pushing water past now. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, I think that's going to stop the drain, which means technically we should start filling this up a little bit, which means we could flood out. Um, I might need to start making a levee wall around this. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, I'm intrigued by all of this here. I'm trying to figure out what, what we can do, what we can't do. I've got injured beavers. Um, how many do we got? We've got four beavers right now. I guess what we could do is we could build a scavenger. Uh, 250, yeah, I can unlock a scavenger flag. Let me go ahead and unlock the scavenger flag. Um, I'm just going to put them, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to put them like right here. Let me get a pile. I could put the pile right there. I don't know if I want to, or we could put it back here. You know what? I'm just going to tuck it in that little corner right there. We will do scrap metal. And let's see, so we are in, we are in the drought. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think those negative blocks produce water. I think what happens is this fills up because of all the extra water up top. So I'm pretty sure that all of the, all of these blocks down here are going to be negative. Um. Man, the, the more I look, the more water source blocks there are. And I'm just like, I'm just not even, I'm not even sure how to, uh, how to even go about trying to, trying to make this work. I mean, I have ideas, but if, you know, whatever, uh, the more we block, the more, and because I can't cover up the top of them. That's going to be the problem, is we can't cover the top. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to leave those couple of blocks blocked off, and we're going to see if that changes anything over the course of uh, a season. So, anyway, right now we've got... We're getting scrap. Maybe I want a second dude getting scrap. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Let's see. The smelter. Smelter is going to cost me 300. We don't have 300 just yet. I do have a couple extra beavers. Maybe we need to do a little bit more science first. 
Uh, what does this do? That, that takes metal. Okay, so we can't do anything with that guy. Um, I guess for right now, I'm gonna put in two more, two more inventor huts, and we're just going to see if we can't speed up our research a little bit here. There we go. Double that up. Give me some points. That way we can start unlocking stuff because we got a whole lot of stuff to unlock. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking about raising, well, not really raising, but building building a wall around the city so that we can do some stuff. Uh, if I do that, though, we're going to need a lot of wood, a whole lot of wood, more wood than we currently have. Yeah, let's just get rid of as many of these berries as possible over here. Yeah, get rid of all of that so I can have a better maple farm. All right, we are up to 250. Let's see, was that what I needed for the for the smelter? Yes, well, no, we need 300. Almost. Can we not reach these? Too far from a district. Okay. So we're not going to get those three right now. So yeah, that's fine. We'll leave those be. In fact, I think... I'm just going to go ahead and take out these just to get them out of my way. We don't really need them, but they're going to go bye-bye. Get them out of there. All right, I think, let's see, do we got the, yes, we got the science. Uh, let's see, where's that at? Metal. Let me go ahead and do the smelter right there. Of course, the smelter is going to take power, which we don't really have a whole lot of, but that's okay. We will figure it out. Um, where do I want to put you? Eh, you kind of fit right there. How much do you take? You take two. Ooh, you take two hundred power. Okay, so if we use you, you're gonna. All right, hold on. Let me pause that. We're gonna have to go up and over the road right here. Is what we're gonna end up having to do to get past this right now because we don't have any dynamite. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, power shaft over. Here we go. All right, so here we are. Let's see, metal, smelter. So if we do this, yeah, let me do that guy. Let me get a path over here. I don't know if we're gonna need a path up or not, but I'm gonna go ahead and put one just in case. 
just so we have access. I, at some point, I'd like to dig all this down or blow it down, I should say, because we can't really dig. I still think they need to make it to where you can have beavers manually dig out a block. I really wish someone would make that a mod uh, so that we could have a small-scale terraforming without the big, huge machine, you know. I mean, because it'd be limited, it'd be time-intensive, you know, I, I think it would work. But anyway, let's do this. Let's come back over here. Let me put in a four-way right here so that that can be connected. And then I need to add in a handful of power wheels because, yeah, we're going to need... We're going to need power. Um, I guess let me put one here. I'm going to put one right there. That'd give us at least another hundred right there. And then we could do the same thing down here. I could do one here. One there. Like so. Okay, so that's going to give us, that's going to give us the smelter. So we'll be able to make metal blocks at that point, which is good because that, I need the metal blocks to get the healer and all the other stuff. So many things trapped behind the metal blocks. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to build out in the water because since we don't have terraforming, I can't add any land right now. So I think we're going to levy out in the water and then where there's a water block, I'll just bring it back over the ground and back around is what we'll end up doing. So I'm going to do all this and I do believe I'm going to need a builder's hut. So let me unlock that. That way we can get a handful more beavers working towards our, our goals here. I'm going to put it like so, and we'll put, we'll put bushes or a statue or something on either side of that just to, just to give a little bit of a bonus there. Uh, let's see how many, we only have one beaver left. Uh, how are we doing on the pods? The pods are constantly running. Yeah. Yeah. They're still running. Um, I might end up having to need an extra pod or two. I don't know where I want to put them though. I guess I'm just going to put two more pods right there. So we're going to do that. That way I can increase my population a little bit more. And if we end up increasing it too much, I'll turn them on and off. Or I might try to stagger them a little bit so that when one set's halfway done, another set is just starting. That might be the best way to do it. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll play around with it. Yeah, go ahead and increase the priority here. Uh, 
how are we doing on the system? 135 out of 200 needed. Hold on. No, we're 250 out of 370 needed. Okay, so yeah. So we're missing about 120, which those two wheels will give us another 100. So we'll be about 20 shy over the whole thing as of right now. That's fine. We're making planks, we're making gears, we're making we're making metal blocks. That's excellent. Yeah, I think the I think the healer is probably going to be the next thing that I unlock. Uh, let's see. Well, there is also the shower, but let's see where is let's see we've already got the medical bed. Where is the healer? Uh, here he is. 300. Okay. So it's going to be a minute before that one that one happens, but Anyway, I think that's uh, I think that's about it, guys. So we got a little bit of stuff done today. We're expanding. We're doing things. We're we're growing our little city here. So we uh, got the got the smelter in place today. We are testing out blocking off a couple of the water blocks, which. You know, if we do start to flood, I'm going to have to run over there and destroy the, destroy those so that, you know, it can, it can do its thing, but we'll see what happens. So, but anyway, that is going to be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. You guys just like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.